Coach, that was a wild one. I mean, your season uh, is surviving on a walk-off walk. How, how are you feeling right now? You know, on the, on the scale of walk-off excitement, a walk is one of the lowest. But, you know, it uh, doesn't change the fact that that was a really good win for us. And uh, Victor Scott's at-bat there is just a culmination of all of our at-bats over the course of the whole night. Our hitters stood in there pretty well against uh, Kansas's best arms. And those guys have had some success this year. So that was a, a really good night for us offensively. Cody Nesper. Hey, Coach. Um, with Victor up there, did you think about uh, putting on any sort of squeeze play or anything? No. No, we weren't going to end the game with that. We, uh, we swung it well all night and had a bunch of hits and we're driving some balls into the gaps and getting our swings off. So uh, I, I didn't even consider a bunt there. We, uh, Victor was getting ready to win the game a multitude of different ways in my mind, I thought. Back to Sam. Just, there were a lot of wacky plays in that one that made consequential you know, decisions. But at the same time, there were a lot of consequential plays that, uh, you know, like Braden Barry coming in as a pinch runner and making that heads up play to go home. I mean, what kind of, what was the difference do you think in this game? Was it was it execution? Was it making that heads up play? What do you think made the difference? I think we just outslugged them. You know, they they stood in there and swung the bats uh, pretty well. Uh, we couldn't get their shortstop out at all, so we decided just let them hit a single and then try and pick them off first base, and that seemed to work better than actually pitching to them. But uh, yeah, they, they slugged it. We slugged it. The longer that game went on, uh, there was, weren't going to be many zeros left. If that went extra innings, people were just going to keep scoring and keep scoring. So it's hard to point to one play, but, uh, you know, we just up and down the lineup. Uh, we had uh, the number one and two hitters each had two hits, and so did the number eight and nine hitters each had two hits. So we, that was a pretty good effort throughout the whole lineup. Cody, go ahead. Um, so going back in the ninth a little bit, uh, after Paul got on, you know, he had already been thrown out earlier. What went what, what into the decision to, you know, send him again? I just kind of like the matchup. You know, Paul can uh, quietly and unexpectedly steal some bases if the pitcher's not paying attention to him. And I thought it was going to be a breaking ball count. They were going to throw uh, – Blastic breaking ball, and, and Paul got a really good jump. Uh, the slide wasn't really a thing of beauty, but uh, uh, it turned out it didn't matter because they walked Blastic, but they may have pitched them differently if Paul was still on first. So Paul's athletic enough to steal bases if you don't pay attention to him. Sam, go ahead. Coach, you were heading into this one, you're in a delicate pitching situation. You know, if you win, then you got to play pretty much the entire week. Um, on, on short arms, then you got to kind of take Carlson out pretty early. Um, what was kind of going through your mind when you took him out, put Ben on, and, uh, you know, what meant when, how careful were you with your, all your decisions? You know, we, that's not ideal to use, you know, four pitchers in the play-in game. You know, that doesn't really set you up very well for later in the, later in the week, but we just, we had to try and win the game no matter what, you know, it's, uh, you can set your pitching up for the rest of the week all you want, but if you lose tonight, uh, then you got a bunch of fresh pitchers sitting on an airplane. So and we had to do what we had to do to win the game. And and uh, they had the lineup stacked with lefties, and it was a pretty good matchup for Hampton. And he just went out there and threw his heart out there and just pitched as long as he could until he ran out of gas. And uh, then, we, then we threw it to the guys who had been reliable for us. Back to Cody. Uh, keeping with Ben, just I, I, what does it say about him, you know, as a true freshman in that spot to be able to give you, you know, as many innings as he did and, and you know, control the damage as much as he did? Yeah, you know, that's two true freshmen going out there on a pretty big stage, the biggest one they've ever pitched in. And, and they both did fine, you know. They went and that's, that's great experience for all of them. And, and uh, that'll help them when they, when they pitch in this tournament in the future. And they'll, they'll learn from everything they've done. And, uh, but uh, yeah, they uh, they went out there and just 
gave it everything they had and tried as hard as they could and, and uh, got us to the, uh, I don't know, the sixth or seventh inning. Uh, and it was still a game. So to, to get freshmen to, to give you an opportunity to win on a stage like this, you can't ask for more than that. Sam. So with that being said, you know, you really didn't need to use that many arms today. You kind of got lucky. It, it seemed like from the outside. So how are you feeling, feeling about your arms heading in tomorrow? Well, yeah, you know, we got Jackson Wolf going and Jackson, he's capable of going out there and throwing 130 pitches. You know, he's done that before. So if he's uh, pitching well and is doing his thing, then, then he's got a chance. Uh, this is a, would be a really big game for him to go deep into the game because all the relievers are through today. If they get a day of rest tomorrow, then they'll be ready to go again on Thursday. So it would be really nice when you get in a tournament situation, uh, complete games and long outings are worth their weight in gold. So it'd be really nice for Jackson to go out there and, and throw as many pitches as he can and give us a chance to win it late. And we'll finish up with Cody. Go ahead. Um, so when you've talked about Victor in the past, you, you've kind of said that he has the potential to be a star here. And at bat like that, in that situation, is that kind of, I mean, does that just show his potential? And is that kind of the first step for him? Yeah, he made a he made an adjustment with his swing about uh, three weeks ago, and he uh, uh, I told him I told him the day after he made the adjustment, I said this could be the the turning point in his college career, and uh, you know he had a great at bat to end it, but he hit two line drives on the left side of the field, one to the third baseman, made a tremendous play, and a line drive at the left fielder earlier in the game. So he's in the last uh, three or four weeks. Victor's starting to show that he's getting ready to turn into the player that, that we think he can be in the next couple of years.